What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sydney. This is Shoddy Reads. We talk about books over here. If you are new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So you don't miss out on future literary content. Let's get into the video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the books I read in January. And we're going to start off with a little backstory because there's always a little bit of backstory to everything. So at the beginning of the year, I set a goal to read 75 books because last year I read 60 something, 62. So I said, you know what, let's, let's do it because the goal last year was 50. I exceeded it. I'm like, let's just exceed that a little more. So in January, I went like really, really hard and I wasn't being intentional about my reading y'all and y'all know I guess I'm not practicing what I preach or I wasn't practicing what I preach I was just so focused on getting to the 75 I'm like I have to read like one to two books a week in order to do this so with that being said I did read a lot of books that I enjoyed I read five books in January um However, I did feel rushed. I felt like I was racing against the clock. I don't, the clock that I set for myself, it's like I could hear a ticking in my head when I was reading and it wasn't fun, but I did enjoy these books. So I'm excited to talk about them. All right, I'm just gonna go in order of how I read them. So the first book that I read this year was Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I have a full comprehensive review on this channel, so go check that out if you have not watched it because I really, really enjoyed this book. Death is their only beginning, y'all. Honestly, it's very cute. I did enjoy it. Like I gave it a five out of five because it made me cry and I'm gonna give any book that makes me cry five stars probably. Uh, the dialogue, and I'm saying this so y'all can understand why I chose the book that I chose, chose, that I chose next. So the dialogue here, the back and forth between characters in the beginning isn't the best. And I was really like stuck on that at the, in the beginning. Um, but there's a lot of imagery. If you're someone who reads, I had a whole conversation about this with my friend. If you are someone who reads and uh, can can see the the place being described and you can imagine the world that's being created then you'll really enjoy this book I don't really do that I enjoy reading for the sentence structure the flow uh, basically just like the writing style so with all that being said you can go watch the review after reading this I really wanted to read something that made me think like really hard. So I said, Tony, Tony, Tony Morrison is my favorite. I say it in almost every video. Almost said a bad word there, but we're on YouTube, so we're keeping it cute. I talk about Tony in almost every video. So I was like, I've been wanting to read Tar Baby. It's on my list. Haven't read Tar Baby. So next, book number two for January. I read Tar Baby. Tar Baby was really good. There's no Toni Morrison book that's not good. Uh, I think I just wasn't able to fully enjoy it because I was rushing through it and I was like, I really have to finish this. And Tony isn't something you rush through. Unless the Song of Solomon or like Sula, it's so good. Anyway, this one I didn't want to rush through. I, I did really love the writing style. I think I just didn't fall in love with these characters the way that I normally fall in love with the characters that she writes. But I do love the way um, she explains, what is her name? The white woman, she has blue, if it's a boy, blue eyes blue if it's a boy blue eyes such a tongue twister but tony came up with that i just feel like that's so creative like the way she described her eye color blue if it's a boy blue eyes can y'all say that i can barely say it i really wish i could remember um the woman's name i think it's margaret yeah margaret is married to valerian 
Sydney is their butler. See, I feel like if I, I don't really remember the characters' names and I feel like that's it's kind of a red flag. Oh my God. Have we talked about book red flags yet? So with my first two book choices, there's already this theme of, I don't really know what I want. Because with Under the Whispering Door, I thought I wanted fantasy, but that book was honestly a bit more spiritual than I expected, which was great. Then with Tar Baby, I did enjoy it, but then I was like, mm, maybe I want to go back into fantasy because I, I just kept wanting like something like crazy to happen. And I mean, there's a lot that goes on in Tar Baby, but not in like the adult fairy tale way. So I picked up The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle because this is full on adult fairy tale fantasy fiction. I again, I liked it. I was like, this is just like really ethereal, like really out there in terms of imagination. Would I read it again? No. Would I recommend it? If you want something like light and fun and something that's going to like take you out of this world. Yes, I would recommend it. If you are in a phase right now where you're all in your head about reading like I am, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you've ever read this book because I saw this at Book Soup. I actually talked about this in my book haul um, in West Hollywood and it was under like the staff picks. It even says on the front of the book like The Last Unicorn is the best book I've ever read. Not that they're going to say don't read this book, you know, on the cover, but still, um, I'm like, really, it's the best book you've ever read? I mean, do you? The fourth book I read, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. The fourth book I read, I loved. I think this may be my favorite book of 2022 already. And I wrote a review of this book. Okay, what I'm talking about is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Bachman, we don't know. Um, anxious people. I wrote a review that is on my Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, follow me at shoddy reads. Um, and I explained there how last year I read, um, against the loveless world in January. And I was like, I think this is my favorite book of the year. Like I can just feel it. And it ended up being my favorite book of last year. And I have the same feeling with anxious people because I think about the characters like on a daily basis. I think about the premise of the book a lot. I just can't really get it out of my head. And I like read this so fast, not because I was trying to force myself, but because it's so good. So this is a story about a bridge. It's a story about a bank robbery. It's a story about a hostage situation. It's a story about an apartment viewing. It's there's a lot going on. And I love the way it's written because each chapter is about, I don't know, like two to five pages. Wow. I would choose like a longer one. Anyway, some of them are really short. Like chapter 31 is just that. So it really makes you feel like you're watching like a, like a crime show or something like a 30 minute crime show. Like I was just sitting like, like I have to know what happened. So this isn't something you want to read when you don't have a lot of time. Like you want to read this in the bath, on the couch, in the bed, like wherever it is that, that you go to read um, and you don't move that that's what you got to do for this book. So highly recommend this book. I feel like just off this little review that I'm giving here, it's pretty clear that this one was my favorite out of the five. Um, but yes, go check out my review. It's it's a pretty good one, I would say. It's a nice three paragraph review of this book and it is, it's just, it's just, go read it, please. So my fifth book, I started in January and if I'm being honest with y'all, I finished in February. It is Mama Day by Gloria Naylor. This book cover just makes me feel something inside. I just love it so much. I did enjoy this book. Would I read it again? 
probably because I feel like I was getting really busy. I was finally like burning out from my let's read as many books as we can thing. And this on it, this took me like two weeks to read. It don't take me that long to read a book normally. So I was like, what is going on? Like, do I have to DNF this book? Like, are we not finishing it? Like, what's the problem? But I would find myself thinking about it throughout the day. So I did have that like urge and like desire to read it. And then I, re I couldn't really read more than like 20 to 30 pages. But I will say this story is set in Willow Springs. Uh, I believe it's a fictional town in the South, Georgia Sea Island of Willow Springs. It's like not on a map. Um, so it's full of like magic and mystery and all that. Um, it's just the, the pace in Willow Springs is very slow. So I feel like the way you read the book kind of goes along with that pace. Just like with Anxious People, it's a fast paced story. So it's written that way where you're kind of, you feel like you're blowing through the chapters because they're written shorter. With this one, it's jumping back and forth between three different perspectives. So I think it's one of those where I really liked one person's perspective a lot. And then when it would jump to the other two, I was like, mm. I could do without it. Can Mama Day just tell the story? I think I, I really loved Mama Day and I just didn't know how I felt about Coco and look, I can't remember his name and George's relationship, Ophelia and George, Coco and George, baby girl and George, whatever you want to call her. Uh, but I'm gonna, this book has a twist so I'm going to stop talking there because I always want everyone to like go read the books that I review and discuss and bring up. So that's all I'm going to say on that. That is it, y'all. These are the five books that I read in January. I will always, always, always link them in the description below so you guys can check them out, buy them, read them, and then let me know how you felt. Again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the next video. Breathe easy. Drink your sea moss. I haven't had any in two days. Ah! I'll see you in the next one.